Hey guys, welcome back to Chris Beauty. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina. Some of you call me Chris, others Tina. Whatever you prefer, girl, that's fine with me. All right, you guys, in today's video, I'm actually super excited about this one because I actually get to talk my freaking head off. I have gotten a few popular TikToks over the last couple of weeks, especially with the launch of my e-guide. For those of you who don't know, I have lost 130 pounds over the last three-ish years. Just last year, I decided to start creating my very own fitness slash nutrition e-guide. Just a disclaimer here, I am not a professional whatsoever. So I created this within a year and I finally launched this a couple weeks ago on November 11th, 11, 11 And if you missed that video, I'll go ahead and put it somewhere up here but yeah so ever since then i have been promoting my e-guide and baby when i tell you it has blown up it has blown up several times and ugh, it's been a lot so along with it blowing up i've gotten hundreds and hundreds of comments a lot of questions relating to my weight loss i have literally tried my best to go through all the comments answer all the questions but some of the questions are repetitive so what i decided to do today is actually do a little weight loss q a i went ahead and put out a poll on my tiktok asking whether you guys wanted to see a q a next or if you wanted to see fashion it was a little bit of both but it was leaning more towards a weight loss q a i get it totally understand i've gotten dms i've gotten i mean it's just it's a lot so as easy as it is for me to go ahead and just say you know what just get my e-guide get my e-guide i love answering questions i do not gatekeep any information i'm like here i'm here for all the tea okay so that's what i'm gonna be doing today so if you're not already subscribed to chris beauty go ahead and do so turn on your bell notifications and let's get started all right, you guys, so as you can see today, I'm already glam. I started to get, you know, all glam, but then I was like, you know, let me put my hair into a little bit of a messy bun situation. And it's probably a little messier on camera, but this is what we got going on. And it's super cold here in Florida, so I'm like, I'm freezing. So listen, stay with me, okay? Like I said, I have gone through my comments. I have tried to answer my questions on TikTok regarding my weight loss journey. I would say 98%, 99% of my comments have been super, super positive. And a lot of them were just questions. So I wrote down every single question that was the most frequently asked. And I have maybe like 10 questions here and I'm gonna go into each question, try to answer as detailed as possible but what i do ask of you guys today is that you go in the comments and that along with each question that i try to answer if you want me to expand on it please let me know in the comments and i'll make a whole separate video on that one specific question topic and expand as much as i can and again just to let you guys know i'm gonna just keep on disclaiming that i'm not a professional whatsoever i've spent the last three years like busting my ass okay I <laughs> have lost 130 pounds. I am still a big girl. I'm still thickums. My goal is to just be 230 and to build muscle and tone and all that good stuff. But I have experience based off of my journey. So I'm going to go ahead and try to answer questions as much as possible. Like I said, I went through the comments and I'm going to start off with question number one. And I'll put up the comments here. Probably my most frequently asked question was how. Now, I have done a video when I hit my 100 pound weight loss, but I really don't mind like reiterating what I've done, you know, how I got here. So I will always continue to update you guys because I learn and grow every day with my journey. So it's not a one size fits all thing. My most frequently asked question that I'm gonna go over first is how or what is a calorie deficit or like just, just how. There's a lot of how, how, what did you do? So I'll just start off briefly saying that I started at from what I know, I started at 369, 369 pounds about three and a half years ago at this point. And one of my main things that I started doing is calorie deficit. Now I used my fitness pal to like track my food and things like that i started off at a specific calorie deficit now when we're all starting we obviously don't know what we're doing so i went by a 1500 calorie or 1600 calorie deficit i my deficits have gone up and down and it's just been a mess and i got this question a lot on my tiktok and i really want to stress that your calorie deficit is going to be 
completely different from the next person. So to sum up what I'm trying to say right now is the how is all in the calorie deficit. A lot of people will try to tell you go keto, go super low carb, go super low fat, go this, go that, but it all comes down to your calorie deficit. And I cannot stress that enough. So when people think of calorie deficit, they just think of, okay, well, I guess, you know, just the most common thing that I've gotten was 1200 calories. I cannot tell you how much that stresses out my corazón. 1200 calories. Please listen to this part because it's so super, important 1200 calories is for a toddler a toddler and if you're watching here with me i am almost 100 percent sure you are not a toddler your calorie deficit is based on an amount of calories that you subtract from your maintenance calories when you do a calorie deficit you are going into fat loss what you want to do is lose fat so I will go ahead and link down the calorie deficit website that I use and I have given to many people in my DMs. I put this in my e-guide as well. Use this calorie deficit calculator because it is very, very helpful. What it does is it asks for your age, it asks for your weight because that's what your calorie maintenance depends on. It depends on your age, it depends on your weight, it depends on your activity level. And it also depends on whether you're a female or a male because males just in, in total, they eat more than females for muscle reasons. But you guys, Use this calorie calculator that I put in the description box down below because this is what's going to help you. It's going to give you a maintenance number, it's going to give you a fat loss number, and then it's going to give you an extreme fat loss number. Make sure that you're going by your fat loss numbers. You don't want to do extreme. It's just, it's really just not worth it. You want to take your time. You want to be using food as your fuel, as your energy. Like food is not the enemy at all. So find your calorie deficit with this. This is how I have simplified my journey. I've even this past year, I've gone back and use this calculator and had to sort of like start from scratch because you kind of get lost in the carbs and this and that and the really unnecessary diets of society, the fasting, the this. And I have spoken about fasting in my first um, weight loss type of video. That's fasting has been a great tool for me, not necessarily to boost my results whatsoever but it has been a self-control tool for me so fasting optional how frequently you eat your meals optional the, these are things that are not gonna make or break your lifestyle change so i highly encourage you to just focus on your calorie deficit that is the main thing that is your main goal right now especially 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 if you're just starting or if you have toxic relationships with food make sure that you are focusing on just your calorie deficit which again i will leave in the description box down below and there's that um and just to add to that a lot of people have asked me well i use my fitness power and it's giving me like 1300 calories that was my mistake my mistake was using my fitness pal to not only track my food but to give me a certain number and my fitness pal is just not for that my fitness pal and there's another app those are not the things that you want to be using you can use that to track food you can use it to track your weight as you go down perfect tools for that but it's not a good tool to uh, give your calorie deficit those are great apps to track your food your food intake if you want a journal you can definitely write it down in a journal like this or you can just use an app um so that's that so my next frequently asked question that i want to discuss is how long did it take me uh, <laughs> i have love hate relationship with this um question because I know people want me to say it took me nine months, but the truth of the matter is that it's taken me three years and there's nothing wrong with that. I think, I know for me in the beginning, I was all about, okay, I want to hurry up, I want to do this, I want to do this, I, wanna, I just want to see results. But really like when you have a significant amount of weight to lose like I have, you want to take your time and you want to take your time for a few reasons. One, because this is not a little diet that you can just do and then you know in six months you'll be you'll be cool and you can eat whatever you want again like it's a lifestyle change you really need to like ingrain that in your mind like it is not temporary at all secondly is if you have a lot of weight to lose like myself you want to take your time for the simple fact that your skin needs time to snap back i've spoken about this before and if this is actually another question that i've gotten i have loose skin my loose skin is not that bad but 
your loose skin will definitely be a lot worse depending on how fast you go and depending on your genetics so if you're like trying to lose weight really 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 quickly your skin is not gonna snap back as easily as you would like it to um and i know people are very consumed with loose skin and oh god but really like you have to be doing this type of journey for the right reasons and like loose skin is just not for me it's not a like it's not a deal breaker like i got i got a little i got a little skin love me okay that's how long it took me it took about three years i started in may 2017 i worked my ass off all the way up until like may 2018 um i lost 60 pounds i was so freaking happy and ecstatic and it was just like the best i ended up moving to florida which this is something that i have already mentioned before i moved to florida i went into a really bad depression anxiety like completely lost myself phase and i gained 40 of those 60 pounds back and it took me six months of getting up every single day hating every single thing about me until i got to the point where i was like i need to do something about this again and that's what i did and so december 2018 i was like that's it like i have to restart this because it's gonna be a new year. I didn't wanna wait till, till the new year. I was just like, I need to do this now because I'm gaining weight, I'm completely miserable, I'm so freaking depressed, I have nothing going on with my life, I'm in a new state, I cannot, you know, like, it was just a lot. So I was completely overwhelmed and I restarted my journey and since then I haven't stopped. So that's been about, we're in December now, so that's been about two, two years and I lost everything. In total it took about three years, but it's been two years since I like restarted everything. So there's your answer. Like I said in my response to my TikTok comments, everybody is completely different. You're not gonna, there's not gonna be one person's journey identical to the other. So you may lose all your weight in a year some people may take three years some people may take five years this is not a race this is not a race at all like this is your life so take your time there's no rush literally be patient be patient that is one of the key things so there's that okay my next frequently asked question is how do you get motivated and how do you stay motivated aka how do you stay consistent you guys um this was actually one of the things that helped me back in the very beginning well not the very beginning but when i restarted my journey about two years ago i was like oh my god like i would start stop start stop start stop and it was so like it was so miserable for me it, it really was i was just like oh my god like i'm never gonna be able to be a consistent person if you know a little bit about my story i have been a very anxious and depressed person for a number of years so i've never really had a moment or um a particular like time in my life where i was consistent i have always been the type of person to start and stop things and it's always held me back it's always held me back and i've always blamed it on the fact that i you know had depression and i had anxiety and i couldn't do things and i really let my limitations take over me but you know you have to really find your why and that's such a cliche and it's so corny and it's like find your why and everything will be okay no but like i had i had a few reasons why i wanted to do this a big reason is i just wanted to stop hurting like not only mentally but like physically like literally going down the stairs like going down not going up going down the stairs hurt it hurt and my ankles hurt and i had really bad sleep apnea where i would get up in the middle of the night come like literally still asleep and lean against the wall and when i would wake up against the wall and i'm like what is going on i have sleep apnea i was pre-diabetic i had hepatitis c i was literally like on fire all the time and i was on top of that i was depressed and i was anxious and i was so lost in my life i really was and i knew that like well, i actually didn't know but like i was hoping that my weight loss could bring something for me like spark something in me because i was so damn stuck I was so stuck it, it did it, it just sparked something inside of me and i'm telling you like i was one of the laziest unmotivated people in the world i mean just in my opinion i was i literally was like i cannot explain to you i cannot explain to you and then there was a few like many reasons like i wanted to fit into jeans again i wanted to do this again and i wanted <laughs> i had this like idea in my mind that i don't know why and to this day now he's just too freaking like He's too old in spirit that it's probably not gonna happen. But I was like, you know, I want my partner to pick me up again like he used to in the beginning of our relationship. Because when I got with him, I was 260. So, and to me that was like, you know, like a little cute, like 
moment so to have gained 100 pounds since i've been with him over the last like at that point over the eight years that we were together i was just like i want him to be able to carry me and i want to be able to run with my nieces and nephews and you know I just wanted to be able to be confident like there's so many reasons for why you start and so that will be my main thing is if you're trying to get motivated figure out your why write it down these things are what's gonna keep you going and like when you really want to give up and the skills going up or the skills not going fast enough these are the things that really need to like stay in your mind so write down your why write down why the hell is this even worth it and you'll see like surely it, it ends up turning into so much more than you imagine it to be like figure out your why now i'm not gonna lie to you like you're not always gonna be motivated you're not gonna be motivated i don't know i know i'm not motivated every single day when i get out of bed i'm not motivated i'm like oh like just yesterday i'm my carpal tunnel or arthritis whatever i got going on has been like completely on fire so you know as i'm still in pain sometimes sometimes i'm still super achy sometimes i'm completely unmotivated sometimes i'm depressed and i'm anxious and i'm like i cannot do this but you know it's it's not motivation and i commented this to one person and this is why i'm making this video because it's important that i help you guys understand like this is <laughs> like real like motivation is not always going to be there like you have to make sure that you are that you're continuing to push without the motivation because you're dead Dedicated. This is actually another thing that I put in my e-guide was a list of commitments and in this particular um, document and it's literally a document of like I'm committed to I'm committed to and it's a whole bunch of things that you're committed to and this is actually what I wrote down myself for myself on December 4th 2018 um, when I had to completely restart my journey. I literally wrote down everything that I was committed to because I was sick and tired of getting, getting up every single day being angry at the world and blaming everybody else. So I wanted something to completely commit to. And I included this in my e-guide and it at the end it's a signature line because I, I signed it. I signed it and this is something that has been on my wall for the last um for the last two years so you know commitment dedication plays a huge role into staying motivated into keeping yourself moving so your dedication huge it plays a huge role and then eventually it turns into routine it turns into your ritual that you do every single day so so motivation is completely last when it comes to your dedication number one and then routine it's not really about motivation it's about your dedication becoming your routine that's it that's all it is so that's how you stay consistent you find your why and then you just become dedicated and nothing there's nothing that can like stop you from your priorities so there we go okay so the next question is i'm eating healthy but i see no results why so um this wasn't a frequently asked question maybe a couple people asked this on my tiktok but i found that it was significant for me to answer because i have been here multiple times i was literally i was literally here today like i weigh myself um especially lately as you get further along in your journey your weight loss is not it doesn't become easier um and i don't mean that to scare anybody or to intimidate anybody from pushing but it does become a little harder to shed the weight um, and it does slow down so I was there this morning I got very 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 frustrated myself which is very normal but you really have to understand like it's really not all about like losing weight all the time like your body is gonna fluctuate that's one um, but especially if you're just starting this can be super discouraging I would say take pictures take pictures take measurements because it's really not all about the scale it's really not i know in the beginning i took progress pictures and i literally still take progress pictures all the time because the way like it, and it's something so simple but it can really blow your mind like when you start taking pictures because i took my day one picture and then i took a picture a week later and i was just like oh i can't really see a difference and my sister was like you're crazy like you can see you know your your stomach going down and a little bit of a lining and this and that like take pictures take pictures please like take your measurements 
the scale honestly the scale is just trash the scale is completely trash it would have you it will ruin your whole freaking day so if you think that you're not seeing results and you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do you're in a calorie deficit indefinitely then do not focus on the skill. Do not focus on the skill. Focus on how you feel. Focus on the non-skill victories, like your pants fit better and you know you're able to you know tie your shoe without being so out of breath. You're able to go up the stairs and you're not so much out of breath. Like focus on the non-skill victories, please. I cannot stress that enough. But also if you're still like at a point where you're maybe two months, three months down the line and you don't see any results at all and you're probably even gaining weight, I would completely refocus. And this is something that I still have to do to this day, like every single month. And I, I don't know if I've shared this before. I've shared this on my TikTok before, but every single month I treat it like it's a brand new weight loss challenge. Like I set a goal for myself. I I make sure that I'm, you know, eating. I have a plan, a brand new plan every single month. So make sure that you're definitely weighing your food, weighing your portions, and that you're for sure eating within your calorie deficit. Because sometimes we can just be mindless about things and be like, okay, well, you know, that doesn't have as much calories as it says, or I'm just not going to include this in my, you know, tracking and this and that. And you're really eating more than you realize. So just completely refocus, you know, um, there's nothing wrong with restarting and refocusing it literally happens to everyone so just refocus and go over everything okay so this next question i kind of already answered but um someone asked well multiple people asked like i said do you have loose skin yes yes i do no i'm not gonna show you <laughs> of course i have loose skin i've lost 130 pounds like i said some people snap back quicker than others you know taking your time really does help but i do have loose skin and this is something that i noticed probably a year ago i started to notice mainly on my inner thighs um, my stomach is really not as bad as i thought it was gonna be and then my arms my arms they are loosey-goosey honey but i mean it's just it's just a part of my journey and it really doesn't bother me like it did a year ago like a year ago i was like oh my god like this is crazy but i do think eventually i would have to get skin surgically removed um it does affect me health wise um there's a lot of rubbing it affects my confidence and a part of me feels like it kind of still keeps me in a place of like when i was bigger um because i'm not able to freely enjoy my body still so that is something that i am going to explore which i have no shame in because i feel like do whatever makes you confident whatever makes you happy whatever you can sustain my arms have been one of the most stubborn parts to lose um and i get comments about that too but i mean i feel I feel good I feel good and that's really what matters to me honestly truly um I fit in a size 16 so these are the things that totally outweigh the loose skin so yes darling I have loose skin I do what kind of exercises do you do so I would say for the last um six months I have focused on strength training which is also included in my e-guide um, and the reason for that is because you kind of lose fat and build muscle at the same time. I do include a little bit of cardio and that would include dancing, taking a walk. Like I said, I'm not the most, I'm, I'm not always the most motivated person. So when I created my e-guide, I made sure to do short exercises, things that you can definitely do easily. And strength training, you can definitely look it up. You can Google it. You can, you know, combine maybe 15, 20 minutes of like your own strength training exercises. But I would say that would be like squats, curtsy lunges, some ab exercises, just anything that has to do with like incorporating your body weight and using your body weight as like a resistance. Um, I don't use, well I just started using resistance bands with my workout videos just because i would like to start lifting soon but lifting is more about building muscle and shaping your body the way you would like it and toning so that's the phase that i'm at but strength training and cardio is amazing i would say do what works for you though there's no particular exercise that's going to get you a body that looks like mine or vice versa like it's it's just just staying active staying active is important but like i said um in my tiktok comments being active is something that could come or that can go slowly or come a little bit later because what it really is about 90% of your journey or 80% of your journey, however you want to put it, is your eating. So 
I would just focus on your eating and then incorporate physical activity. Okay, this next question, I didn't expect to get so much, but I did. A lot of people asked about my waist trainer and I wanna show you guys um, the waist trainer that I use. So I don't always use a waist trainer. I use it sometimes, well, I use it half the time, um, but my very, very absolute favorite waist trainer is from body fix they sell gym gear um this waist trainer is called the double up mamba i will link everything down below it is amazing it's it's my favorite it's just so good it doesn't roll up it's amazing so this is the double up mamba and then sometimes i will pair it up with this this is called the this is called the body beast and basically it's just a vest that goes over you and sort of like constricts your area again these are just two to help you within your weight loss journey and you know help you sweat a little bit more but these are not things that are going to make or break your results so I just wanted to put that out there these are not magic things but you know there's always some really good tools to help you like to help boost things so I love the double up mama and the body beast they are amazing again I get it from a uh, shop the body fix store and it's it's amazing so I'll go ahead and link that down below by the way I am affiliate I do have an affiliate link with them so so I get a little bit of commission, you know, and I help you a little bit with a discount, which you can use at checkout, which is Christina de Jesus for 10% off. So there's that. Um, I got a question asking me about tips, just tips for beginners, tips in general. Um, I would say my top two tips is to get into the right mindset, which is finding your why, finding out why is it that you want to start this at all. Um, so finding your why, write down your goals, write down everything literally like track this from beginning to end and then just understanding which goes along with mindset that this is not like a, a get quick thing this is not a, a little diet that you're going to be able to like stop in the next six months do you want this to be a lifestyle change get into the right mindset and then the second thing would be to not overcomplicate it just focusing on your calorie deficit eventually doing some physical activity don't focus on all the extra bullshit because it's really not worth it it's gonna overcomplicate your journey it's gonna make you absolutely miserable so those are my top two tips and then the last question that i got was what are some meal ideas or types of foods that i can actually eat while on this journey i have a bunch of meal ideas and that's because i really like to like play in the kitchen and figure things out i love me my food okay so i love substituting things i love creating things or healthier versions of things that are gonna just really satisfy me so the my latest thing is healthy french toast which if you're watching this right now that recipe is already posted on my tiktok i would just highly suggest following me on tiktok because i'm gonna start posting more recipes healthy recipes so i will definitely post meal ideas um the top things that you definitely want to get food wise would be whole foods whole foods that have density that's going to keep you fuller for longer for me personally that's oatmeal that's chicken lean meats like lean beef lean turkey sweet potato Red potatoes, a lot of people think that you can't even have potatoes. That's a damn lie. Um, brown rice, whole wheat bread, whole wheat anything, whole wheat wraps, whatever, whole wheat chips, anything whole wheat. Um, just because it takes a longer time for your body to digest those types of things, so they're gonna keep you fuller for longer. As far as oatmeal, make sure that they are steel cut oatmeal rather than like the instant, like quick one minute no. Um, and then just like I don't really I don't have sugar unless it's in fruit so but again these are things that are just preference for me just because I have PCOS so you can definitely have sugar just limit your sugar but if you're suffering from a, a sugar addiction I would highly suggest to switch to things like stevia which is really not that bad it's just a little getting used to but things like stevia there's a bunch of sugar-free options, sugar-free cookies, sugar-free sweeteners, like flavorings for your coffee and things like that. And then just like a bunch of spices like cinnamon and paprika, just things to really flavor up your food. Do not be afraid of spices. Watch your salt, but don't be afraid of spices. And then just a bunch of water. A bunch of water, you can do like flavored water, you can do sparkling water, flavored sparkling water, that's absolutely fine. There's a whole bunch of options. I think people get very overwhelmed thinking about, oh my God, what, what can I 
I eat, but it's really not that bad. I promise you. I promise you, promise you it's not that bad. And I promise also that I'm going to be sharing these uh, kind of foods and tips on my TikTok, which is at the Chris Beauty. So go ahead and follow me there. Um, and then just lastly, just to add to the food, I really want to just specify the portions. Like people continuously ask me, well, how do you portion your food? Well, how do you track your food? You can definitely track your food by getting the food scale. Usually the back of each food item has a specific serving size. So you can definitely just look at the nutrition information. Not only does it have a, a, a serving size, it will also say the calories for that serving size. So make sure that you're weighing your food, that you're portioning it out correctly. And of course, like I said earlier, continue to track your food as well and track your calories and just be mindful. It's really all about being mindful. You don't necessarily have to track absolutely everything in an app but just make sure that you're being mindful especially if this is the very beginning for you and you're kind of overwhelmed so yeah so those are the top questions that I got in on my TikTok and just the top questions that I get in general I get a lot of DMs just asking me about what to do and how to do it like I said I don't always have all the answers I'm not a professional so please consult with your doctor and your nutritionist and make sure that they're able to find a plan for you but if you're interested in checking out my fitness slash nutrition e-guide go to chriscurvesfitness.com which i will link down below as well um so if you guys have any questions any more questions at all i'll go ahead and answer them down below or i'll even make a part two if you want and again if you want me to i guess expand more on a specific question i will be glad to but just make sure you drop it down below and just say listen i need a little bit more information on this and can you please make a full video just on this specific topic i'll be glad to do that so if you made it to this point, you guys, I so appreciate you for watching. Make sure that you guys follow me on TikTok. I'm so grateful for you guys and your support. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.